My name is Stephen Downey and I'm the Head of Communications at Global Water Partnership, which is actually headquartered here where we're speaking in uh, Stockholm, Sweden. Okay, great. And you were just telling me about how it's a natural fit, um, this event and, and the Global Water Partnership. What is it that brings you here? Yeah, it is a natural fit, partly because we actually share the same office space as the mm. CWE, which is the organization that okay. puts on this conference. And we would call them a key strategic ally of ours. We have a lot of people, because we're an international network, we have 13 regions that we work in, and we have institutional partners from more than 150 countries. Invariably, there are people here who are on the platform as a panelist, or who are invited to chair, like our executive secretary, um, and we have a lot of people who simply participate in the session. So in a sense, the Stockholm World Water Week is a meeting place, an annual meeting place for our network. In that sense, it's a natural fit. Okay, and what do you what do you expect to get out of the week this year, or what is it that you're looking forward to to achieve in the coming years as your network? What is it that you yes, do? You yes. Know? Well, first of all, as a network, what we do is is partners join our network, and they all share a single purpose, and that is how to manage water resources sustainably. Um, we don't have. We're not a narrow focus organization. It's not just about water and agriculture or water and energy or water uh, supply and sanitation. It is, the purpose is to bring to country's attention the need to holistically manage a nation's water resources. We call it integrated water resources management, and I can talk more about that later. But what we hope to get out of a place like this, a uh, conference like this, besides being a meeting place for us, is to raise the issue of water on the agenda, particularly the development agenda. And we know that ministers come here, some government officials come here, um, and so this is a place to make the case for water being an integral part of, of a nation's development. Are there any sessions this year on integrated water resource management? There or, is. I mean, is it, you know, I'm just wondering, as, as a term, I've heard it a lot more in the past than now. I'm wondering, are, are, we, are we just focusing more on particular aspects, or are we still discussing integrated water resource management as a, you know, in a, as a theme of a session? Right. Yeah, you know, actually, uh, one of the criticisms that have come to integrated water resources management is that it's very conceptual, it's, a, it's theoretical, it's got a theoretical framework. Um, and yet, I happened to attend a session yesterday, which was put on by IUCN, um, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, I believe it's called, and they did a session on IWRM and how it's being implemented with what's called an ecosystem approach. You know, there are three pillars to IWRM. One is social equity, it's the three E's, so equity, uh, economic development, and um, the ecosystem or the environment. And it's wonderful to see that something that's been talked about for now 10 or 15 years, integrated approach, they're actually applying it on a project level that is a local level with regard to how to be better stewards of the environment. Okay. And so it, is, it does have its, I love their phrase, they said IWRM is practical. <laughs> you know, okay. It's not just a theory. Okay, well, thanks a lot, and uh, maybe we'll talk to you again next year, Steve. Sure. All right. My pleasure.